The Panama Canal is like a superhighway for ships that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans across its 80-kilometer expanse. Every year, about 14,000 ships use it to travel between these two huge bodies of water. This canal is super important for businesses all around the world because it helps them move goods easily. In fact, it handles cargo worth a whopping $270 billion every year. For the United States, it's even more crucial because around 40% of all the stuff carried in shipping containers goes through the Panama Canal. Imagine if there was no canal. It would take much longer and cost a lot more money to ship things between the east and west coasts of the US. The canal isn't just a big ditch, it's a remarkable achievement of human engineering. It shows how people can overcome big challenges, like making a path through a whole country. It has a fascinating history and an ingenious way of working. It was first dreamed up by Ferdinand de Lesseps, who started building it way back when. But it was a massive project, so big that even he couldn't finish it. Eventually, the US government stepped in and completed it in 1914. Now, here's the really cool part. The canal operates using a system of locks and levees designed by none other than Gustav Eiffel, the same guy who built the famous Eiffel Tower. These locks are like giant water elevators for ships. They use fresh water from the nearby Charges River to lift ships up when they're going one way and lower them down when they're going the other way. But here's the catch. Every time a ship goes through the locks, it uses up a massive amount of water, like millions of gallons. That's because the locks have to fill up with water to lift the ship and then drain out to lower it back down. So you can imagine it's like a big water party every time a ship passes through. Overall, the Panama Canal is not only a marvel of engineering, but also a crucial lifeline for global trade, connecting the world's oceans and making it easier for ships to travel between them. However, the canal is now dealing with a number of technical problems that put its reliability and functionality at risk. One of the most important issues is the limited space, which is a major hindrance to the efficient passage of ships across the canal. Modern ships are getting bigger and bigger, and the canal's current infrastructure could not be able to handle these bigger ships, which would cause delays and jams. Lots of container ships are stuck in a big traffic jam at the Panama Canal, which is super important for global trade. This backup has been going on for weeks, and it's causing big problems for how goods are moved around the world. If the ships can't get through on time, it could mess up deliveries and cause trouble for businesses everywhere. So, fixing this traffic jam is really important to keep things running smoothly and avoid more problems for the economy. The collapse of the Panama Canal is also a consequence of other multiple factors, primarily driven by climate change and exacerbated by natural phenomena such as El Niño. Climate change has significantly changed the environmental dynamics of the region, resulting in reduced rainfall and higher temperatures over the past two decades. This shift has had a drastic impact on the water supply of the canal, with a staggering 20% decrease in rainfall observed in the canal watershed. Additionally, the rising temperatures have accelerated evaporation rates from vital water sources like Gunton Lake, further depleting water levels essential for the canal's operation. Furthermore, the occurrence of one of the strongest El Niño events on record has intensified the drought conditions in the region. El Niño, a natural climate phenomenon characterized by warmer ocean temperatures and altered weather patterns, has exacerbated the already diminished rainfall and runoff in the canal watershed. This double whammy of reduced rainfall and increased evaporation has strained the canal's water resources to their limits leading to unprecedented challenges in maintaining its operational capacity. The Panama Canal Authority, or ACP, has been forced to take drastic measures in response to the ongoing drought, which has severely affected the water levels necessary for the canal's operation. As a result, the ACP has had to reduce both the maximum draft allowed for ships and the number of daily transit slots available. These measures have had significant consequences for shipping companies and businesses worldwide. With the daily transit through the canal now limited to just 24 vessels, a staggering 37% lower than the average in 2022, there's been a substantial decrease in the capacity of the canal to accommodate shipping traffic. This reduction has led to widespread disruptions in global supply chains as goods face delays in reaching their destinations. The impact of these disruptions reverberates through the global economy, affecting not only shipping companies but also manufacturers, retailers, and consumers. 
Delays and congestion at the Panama Canal can result in increased costs for shippers and buyers, as well as logistical challenges in coordinating shipments and managing inventory. In response to the crisis facing the canal, the Panama Canal Authority has outlined ambitious plans to invest in over $8.5 billion in initiatives over the next decade. These initiatives include innovative measures such as diverting rivers into the canal's watershed, aimed at replenishing water levels and ensuring the long-term sustainability of the canal's operation. By investing in these initiatives, the ACP aims to address the root causes of the crisis and safeguard the canal's vital role in global trade. In response to the constraints imposed by the Panama Canal's capacity limitations, shippers are exploring alternative routes to navigate their goods across oceans. Options such as the Suez Canal, the Cape of Good Hope, or Cape Horn are being considered. However, these alternative routes come with their own set of challenges, including increased costs, risks, and delays, which can impact the efficiency and reliability of supply chains. Amidst these challenges, nearshoring has emerged as a more sustainable solution for businesses looking to mitigate the disruptions caused by the Panama Canal crisis. By sourcing goods from nearby locations like Mexico instead of distant suppliers like China or India, businesses can benefit from increased agility and resilience in their supply chains. Nearshoring offers advantages such as shorter transit times, reduced transportation cost, and greater flexibility in responding to changing market conditions, making it an attractive option for businesses seeking to navigate the complexities of global trade in the face of canal-related disruptions. To address the ongoing challenges facing the Panama Canal, several proposed solutions have been put forward to bolster its water supply and ensure its continued operation. One key proposal involves the creation of a new water reservoir in the west of the canal. This reservoir would serve as an additional source of water to supplement the canal's supply, helping to alleviate the strain caused by drought conditions and increasing water demand. Another solution under consideration is the extraction of water from Lake Bayano, with the diverted water being redirected to the canal. By tapping into this alternative water source, the canal can access additional resources, to bolster its water levels and maintain its operational capacity. However, implementing these solutions requires significant time, funding, and regulatory approval. The construction of new reservoirs and the infrastructure necessary for water extraction and redirection are complex undertakings that require careful planning and coordination. Despite the challenges, these long-term investments are crucial for ensuring the resilience and sustainability of the Panama Canal in the face of ongoing climate-related challenges and increasing water scarcity. By investing in these solutions, stakeholders can help safeguard the vital role of canal in global trade and ensure its continued operation for years to come. In conclusion, the Panama Canal plays a vital role in the global trade market, but it's facing some significant challenges. By investing solutions and working together, we can ensure the continued success of this essential waterway. We hope you found this information useful. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next update.